Hello everyone, I'm Reputation, a city skyline player from China. I upload my tutorial and city simulation videos on my YouTube and Bilibili channels. It's a great honor for me to collaborate with Paradox Interactive today to bring you guys a tutorial about this game. Today's tutorial is mainly divided into two parts. Background history of China's high-speed railway and the building method in the game. China has a large population and frequent people flow, so there is a huge demand for high-speed railways. Due to the various climate conditions and geographical terrains, constructions of the high-speed railways encountered unprecedented challenges. So, high-speed railways for different climate conditions and terrains are thus constructed, such as Harbin to Dalian high-speed railway passing through negative 40 degrees Celsius, North Frigid Zone. Hainan high-speed railway world's first island ring-shaped high-speed railway, passing through tropical and typhoon-frequent area. Lanxin high-speed railway, which passes through the Guild Zone and Gobi Desert. All these lines together are called A plus 8 stripes, cross over the whole country. Next, I will explain the basic construction procedures of a high-speed railway station. First, start with the track, lay multiple parallel tracks, and then connect them with the main track. This which allows trains to pass through different platforms and also allow them to pass without stopping. Since Limited Express only stop in few big cities. In the process of constructing modern high-speed railway, the concrete subgrade replaced the previous slipper and ballast, giving the high-speed train more stable and safe operating condition. We can use Surface Painter to replace the original pavement to concrete. Platforms are needed for passengers to aboard and get off the trains. We can use the network platform series to pull a platform corresponding to the track lens of the station. The distance between the platform and the road tracks can be neither too close nor too distant. Use Move It to select the nodes of the platform. Pull all sections of the platform to extend it to the same length of our station. Of course, you can also choose to add assets such as the roof or canopy above the platform to make it look more realistic. We can search car awning on the workshop to be our rooftop. For modern high-speed trains, overhead cables are essential. We can place different steel frame assets to support the cables. Use prop precision, prop sniping, Prop line tool. Select the right intervals and place them along the lines. It can also be found on the workshop by typing Japanese railway prop pack made by Ronix69. Railway signals make your station look realistic and it also provides more function for our station. Signal lines indicate whether a train track is open or closed. The only thing we need to do is to place the pre-selected single light asset on the side of the railway. Beside this, you can also add elevator and escalator assets for our station. We can search the word escalator on the internet and download the pack made by Cine Xinyue. And also we can find the elevator made by Ronix69. And this is how I built Chinese high speed railway station. In the next video, I will teach you guys how to build a high-speed railway lines and the things around it. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos and tutorials. Here's Reputation, thanks for watching this video, until next time.